hey guys welcome to another video of this phenomenal physics series which uh, we were discussing all about this vectors right now so we had already discussed about uh, i think zero vectors all this addition cross product dot product subtraction of two vectors correct so now we will go on to the next concept that is equality of two vectors when can you say them to be equal and this might sound very simple but it is already used in our previous videos this concept while you are actually adding and subtracting and in that parallelogram law of addition so just stay tuned watch this video we'll meet you after this video okay bye bye so we had already discussed about what we had discussed about it's the zero vector right did you read about it mention in the comments okay so zero vector is already done so now we are going to learn about equal vectors but this is a very short topic and very simple topic if you just understand it well okay very simple so you already know what does a vector consist of it consists of two things right magnitude and direction right so equal vectors means both of them should be equal means suppose we have a vector a1 and we have another vector a2 they are equal it means what it means that first of all their magnitudes are same okay and their direction is also same which means a1 vector is parallel to a2 vector or the unit vectors which generally represents the direction are parallel to each other okay this is magnitude and direction form what about at the component levels what happens in the component levels for example we said that a1 vector and a2 vector these two vectors are equal then what about their components suppose a1 vector has a1x along i cap a1x is the component of a1 along x direction or i direction i cap i cap is the unit vector along x direction similarly in a three dimensional space we will continue a1y j cap along the y direction plus component along the z direction is k cap is a unit vector a2x i cap plus a2y j cap plus a2z k cap right it means these are equal which means that the individual components will be equal that is a1x will be equals to a2x a1y will be equals to a2y a1z will be equals to a2z so all the individual components along each direction that will be equal if two vectors are equal okay very simple concept right no hustle about it so when we discussed about the zero vector right so here you can introduce that since there is this concept of zero vectors we can still define what will happen when two equal vectors are subtracted then we'll get what we'll get a zero vector not a zero see how the concept of zero vector is helping us to define the subtraction of two equal vectors and hence we can so when we shift this a vector on this direction you already know like algebraic terms a vector so let us say a1 vector minus a2 vector is a zero vector then a1 vector will be equals to zero vector plus a2 vector which means a1 equals to a2 okay you might be thinking this is very simple but this is very much required in terms of mathematics okay because we when are two vectors equal 
when was so we already know when are two factors equal right in terms of magnitude they should be equal in terms of direction they should be equal when you think of in terms of components individual components along each direction must be equal of both the vectors then only it is called equal vector right correct so so whenever someone asks you okay what what will happen when you subtract these two vectors then you have to say something you have to say one vector that vector is zero vector see how everything is falling into place and that helps our mathematical consistency which i was talking about in the previous class okay so equal vectors are which are parallel and equal in magnitude so when we see in the this thing in the graphical space suppose 2d or something okay this is a two dimensional space suppose we have let me draw a vector this one vector say a vector so what will happen when you translate it without rotation when you translate this vector without rotation no rotation suppose you translate it from here to here we have already learned about translation but now it will all fall into place you will see it suppose you just translated okay this vector let me draw another vector we have already spoken about this while we were doing addition but now you will be able to justify it and see the beautification of it how beautiful is this how they are equal okay so now this is just a simple translation along this line mm along this line you have simply just held the arrow and translated it okay translation only no rotation means what does this mean no rotation means the angle this a vector makes with the positive x axis whichever it may be maybe theta that angle should remain same so the final vector also makes an angle theta with the positive x axis okay and 90 minus theta with the positive y axis that doesn't have to be said in a three dimensional uh, coordinate system you have to say that theta 1 along uh, from x theta 2 from y that you have to say okay okay so no rotation means the angles with the uh, corresponding axis does not change only and the length of the vector does not change since it's a parallelogram suppose a b c d then a b c d will be a parallelogram since this is parallel to a b is parallel to c d right and b c is parallel to a d we are parallelly translating both point b will shift to point c correct point b will shift to point c point a will shift to point d so the length of two opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal a b c d which means the magnitude is same so the magnitude of the resulting vector that is the cd vector that length will be same as magnitude of a magnitude of cd vector will remain same as magnitude of a vector which is same as magnitude of ab vector right very nice and the angle angle also remains the same correct since the angle remains same ab cd vector is parallel to a vector right cd vector the magnitude is equal to a cd vector is parallel to a therefore cd vector will be equals to a vector right therefore this will become a vector so whenever you are parallelly translating any vector okay the vector will remain the same this is the thing used when we were saying that uh, we are adding and we try to translate a vector and bring to a uh, common tail configuration right you remember that we brought two vectors to a common tail configuration in addition in the parallelogram law correct and adjacent to each other how we were doing that how we are able to translate it's because of this property that when we translate a vector without any rotation only translation no rotation every time remember this only translation no rotation no rotation means 
एंगल विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू एनी एक्सिस विल नेवर चेंज ओके दिस इट सेल्फ विल हेल्प यू टू रिमेन टू कीप द सेम वैक्टर नेवर यू आर ट्रांसलेटिंग इट सो यू कैन ट्रांसलेट एनी वैक्टर सो द वैक्टर इज नॉट टू कीप अ सेम वैक्टर इट इज नॉट कंस्टेंट टू अ पॉइंट दैट वी कैन ड्रॉ दिस ए वैक्टर ओनली फ्रॉम स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम पॉइंट ए दैट कंस्टेंट ऑफ अ सिंगल पॉइंट इज नॉट देयर and this concept will help you later in physics this concept of translation you should think of it as a free arrow which is whose angle is fixed now you can translate it anywhere in space okay just don't rotate it the arrow should not be pointing from a single point only it can be from starting from any point ending from any point but its direction should be same okay and its magnitude should be same okay then only it will remain you are te- you will be able to say that uh, this itself is uh, a vector the vector will not change okay once you parallelly translate a vector okay guys so these are the few important things related to equal vectors okay so very nice some important problems you can practice regarding this but as far as theory goes this itself is everything okay so this will be a very short video will finish over here only and you can go and practice some problems okay practice is the key so always practice some problems after every theory class don't just sit with theory you have to implement it implement implement whatever theory you are learning into problems any problems you are facing any doubts you are facing please mention in the comments okay and what you have to do you know right if you like it you will like but hit the like button okay give a like with a thumbs up that thing you have to press and another thing you have to do if you want to continue in this series of phenomenal physics if you want to stay tuned as soon as i give this video what you have to do you have to press the subscribe button okay there's a red colored button below you can just press subscribe and guys don't feel awkward just because of english okay you can mention in the comments in hindi in bengali okay i understand all these languages till now so hindi english bengali any any language will work language should not be the barrier whereas um, in the world of physics and science okay language is not the barrier whatever you find easy for you you tell me you can suggest me also that i want to see videos in this language okay then i'll try to make as far as possible okay but just because of of better reach i'm making in english okay okay guys so that's all for today we'll meet you in the next class till then keep on studying physics keep on loving it and enjoying your life okay guys bye bye